today's video, you're going to be learning about the power of the law of attraction. How you can use the law of attraction in very simple terms. I want to make it easy, I want to make it simple, and I want to make it easy for you to understand. back to another video, I'm Maximilian and I help people empower their lives. The law of attraction is the biggest tool and one of the biggest keys to success if you speak to many, many people. Now, let me make something clear, something very, very clear. If you take action out of the law of attraction, you get the law of attra, or of attra. So you need to know that you need to take action. That's the biggest, the, before, before anything, before you even start to visualize, before you even start to manifest, before you even try all these different techniques, you need to take action. You need to know that you will take action. Because if you're not gonna take action, nothing's gonna come. And just as Jim Carrey said, you can't try to manifest something and then go and sit and eat a sandwich. You just can't do that. You gotta take positive action and the right steps. That's where the doors start to open. That is where the synchronicity start to happen. That is when the law of attraction is working. Now, there was a story of a guy who was, he was drowning in the sea and a guy came past on a boat and he said to him, this is obviously it's a fictional story, do you want some help? Do you want me to help you out of the water? And the guy said, no, God or the universe has my back. Don't worry about it, he'll save me or the universe will save me. Another boat comes along, exact same thing happens, no, God's got my back, the universe has my back. Then he goes up to heaven and he said, God. I thought you said you, I thought you had my back. And he's like, I sent you two boats. <laughs> I sent two boats to save you. That is the synchronicity. That is the law of attraction. Now, it, depending on what your beliefs are, my belief is the universe. I believe in a higher power. I believe in the universe. That's my full belief. And the power of the universe is it will send things to you as and when you need, if you are in that vibration to accept and receive. So if you can accept happiness, you, you are able to receive happiness. If you can be happy in a happy state of happiness right now, that's when you have more to be happy for. That's when more happy happy experiences will come into your life. So if you wanna attract that, the love of your life, you wanna attract more money, you need to get into a vibrational frequency of wealth or a vibrational frequency of love. And the biggest way to do it with love is to be on a vibrational frequency of self-love. If you truly love yourself and you no longer need for a partner, they will eventually come. And it won't just be someone you're settling for. It'll be someone who you want and someone who you truly, truly is the perfect person for you. So when you're in that vibration of, I don't need someone, it would be nice to have someone, but I don't need them. It will be very, it will be much more beneficial for you because you will truly love yourself in order for someone else to come along and love you. Because one, if you don't love yourself, who, who's gonna be able to love you? And plus, how are you gonna be able to love someone else if you don't love yourself? So first of all, you need to understand taking action. That's the biggest thing. It could be taking action on an opportunity. It could be opening the right door and taking action. It could be literally bumping into someone, tripping over, and then it turned out being a business deal, the love of your life, something very beneficial that helps you out or maybe even defers you onto your journey, onto your path. So once you've understood that, that is essentially the last part, but I wanted to clear that up first because so many people think it is just thinking it will come. And I, I, I completely admit that's what I used to think. When I first read the law of attraction, I wasn't too clear on it. And I thought, if I can think of a million pounds, I could be a millionaire. That sounds simple enough. Let me do it. <laughs> and I was so hooked in by it because I didn't think there was going to be any work behind it. And many, many years later, I believe it's four, four years later, five years later since I figured out about the law of attraction, I have realized that I'm not exactly where I want to be. But I needed to know that. I need to know that I need to take action every single day. If I want to live the life of my dreams, if I want to live the life that I know I want to live and I deserve to live, I need to take action every single day. Nothing's going to stop me from getting there. And I know that. I know that for a fact. So that's part of taking action. You've got to know. You've got to trust the process. Be consistent. Be patient. And do it every single day. So with the law of attraction, there's many, many different techniques. Now, very simple techniques are reprogramming the subconscious mind. So obviously I do work with the subconscious and there's many techniques that I use. Now, before you go to bed, just as you wake up, you're in a very susceptible state. This is a state of theta and this is where you can accept a lot of knowledge very easily. So if you are able to accept the knowledge, you can reprogram the mind to live in a vibrational frequency of gratitude, wealth, abundance, uh, love, happiness, whatever it is that you wanna live in. So you have two times that you can do this consciously. Now, 
Again, this doesn't just happen overnight. Think about how hard it is to learn another language at age 20, at age 25, at age 30, unless you're super, super intellectual. Think about how hard or how difficult that is compared to when you're very young. Now, when you're very young, you learn the ABC, you, get, you go through it many, many, many times. I don't know, maybe half a year it takes you to go through it, probably a year in total to just go through the whole ABC, to go through the whole alphabet. Then you have to start putting it into practice. It's a process, it takes a bit of time. So when you understand that you can reprogram yourself from repetition, the more you do something, the more likely you will get the result. So if someone said, I will post one video a week on, or one video a month on YouTube, by the end of the year, they've posted 12 videos. Whereas as someone said, I will post one video a day for a year, they would have posted 365. How much more of a percentage of a chance does that person now, don't get me wrong, there's people out there that are, have posted less videos than me and have got way more followers or uh, subscribers because they're diverse, they do it on different platforms, things like that. And again, I'm not doing it for subscribers. I do want to build my subscriber base, but I'm happy to post at a low subscriber rate because I know long term, the more I put in, the more I will get out. But the law of attraction, I know that if I say I will grow a fan base, I will grow a subscriber base, I will grow loyalty between the people that follow me and I will give them value, then I know that it will work out eventually. And that it just it just does. It just does. If you have a if you're persistent, if you if you're consistent, persistent, and you have a burning desire to achieve your goals, you will get there. And if you don't believe you can, that's the first thing. Don't even look into the law of attraction until you have full belief in yourself because you need to believe in yourself first. But essentially the law of attraction is ask, believe, act, receive. So you ask for it. Be specific. What do you want? What is for something you want? Maybe it's a relationship. Now, I don't believe in asking for a specific person. I believe in asking for the person that's perfect for you because sometimes the, the thing that didn't happen was usually is the best thing that never happened. So ask for the, the love of your life. Ask for the perfect match for you. If you want to be successful in business, go with figures. I, I believe to go with figures. Go with a monthly figure. Go with a yearly figure that you want to hit a target just so you know where you're going to. Be realistic, but not too pessimistic. So you've got to be optimistic, fairly realistic, but not too pessimistic. So don't say, if you've never earned over a million, if you've never earned over 50 grand a year, if you say, I want to earn a million pounds a year, it's not very realistic. Now, is it possible? It, it is possible. Don't get me wrong. I would just say, if you're going off and you're starting with the law of attraction, start small. This is where I manifested car parking spaces. I manifested a little bit of money. I manifested my car debt to be paid off. I manifested loads of different things. And that was when I was manifesting money. So theoretically, I received the money. I just didn't physically hold it. It just wiped out my car payments. So you can manifest absolutely anything you want and you have the ability. First, ask. Ask what you want. Ask for what you want. The thing that you want, what is it? Be specific. Write it down. Then you have to have full belief. So this is where people say, don't, don't think about it all the time. I believe thinking about it in the mornings, in the evenings, when you're in a susceptible state to reprogram your subconscious. I still listen to reprogramming tapes all the time. So I'm reprogramming myself for different things. I believe they're very powerful because you're in such a susceptible state. Then you've got to have full belief and trust the process. If you lose your job, that might be part of the process. If you lose your relationship, that might be part of the process. If you lose a loved one, that may even be part of the process. Everything that happens in life, we can see it whether it happens to us or for us. If you can see it happening for you, you can benefit so much because you can say, okay, that's painful, but there's an underlying message. Now, whatever's going on in your life, there's always a message. There's something you can learn from it. Even if it is painful, there's something you can learn. Maybe if, if you've lost a loved one, maybe it is. Don't hesitate to give flowers to them. Don't hesitate to tell them how much you love them. And sometimes they're hard lessons. Sometimes they're not as hard. But once you fully trust the process, you believe in the process, then you have to take action every day. Be consistent, persistent, and patient. Just do it every single day. Think about if you did, now I posted a video the other day and someone commented on it saying there was, there was two balls and one's going down a straight run, one's going down one with ups and downs. The one that's going with ups and downs 
slowly beats it when it comes back. They roll and then it comes back. So that one's obviously going straight and that one's going up and down. That, the one that's going up and down beats it and that is a, a metaphor saying the ups and downs actually speed you up. And then she said, but there's, then it's, it's only winning by a little bit. And I said, yes, perfect. That's perfect. Because I, I, I would have thought exactly the same thing and I used to think the exact same thing. I was like, why do we have to have downs? But we have to. And if you think one year, if that, if that ball rolled for a whole mile up and down, over 30 centimetres, I believe it was, 30 centimetres, I don't know about that, it beat it by maybe, I don't know, 0.5 of a second, maybe one second, if that. Over one mile, how, many, how much do you think it will win in total? It accumulates over time. It's the compound effect. It's the compound effect, I suppose. The faster it gains more momentum, whereas that ball will slowly run out of momentum, whereas that, the one that's going up and down has the downs, which gives it force and then up, and then it rolls back down again. So it has the momentum. And, oh, <laughs> and the more you do, the more momentum you'll get. And it's like the snowball effect, pushing or pushing a rock all the way up a hill. As soon as you get to the top of that hill, you let it go and then it just rolls and rolls and rolls and rolls and picks up momentum and just crashes because it's got the momentum on the way down. It doesn't need you to push it. You don't even need to stand it. You don't even need to look at it. And that's what happens with anything. Eventually it will work. So use the law of attraction in a way to understand that you need to trust the process. You need to be prepared for the process and accept the good and the bad that's going to come from it. Because there is good, there's bad. That's the yin and yang of life. Nothing's all good, nothing's all bad. So I hope that helps you with the law of attraction. I hope you like this video. If this video has inspired you or has given you some sort of knowledge, please do like this video, share this video, comment on this video. Have an amazing day, keep smiling and spreading positivity.